Guess what? It's me again. So today I'm going to explain data cleaning using pandas. Data cleaning is the process of fixing or removing incomplete, incorrect, or irrelevant data. Approximately 75% of the work that is done with pandas is specifically for data cleaning. You do a lot of it. In this demonstration, I have a data frame that contains the original 150 Pokemon. Now, let's say you would like to drop a column because it's not relevant. We're going to take our data frame, call the drop function. As a keyword argument, we're going to pass in columns equals, then within a Python list, you can list all the columns you would like to drop. I would like to drop that column of legendary. This function of drop does return a new data frame, so we're going to reassign our current data frame. Data frame equals, then call the drop function of the previous data frame. And let's take a look. We should be missing that column, which we are. Now let's say you don't want the number. Well, we can add that to the Python list. Drop, I think it was NO. Yes, that column is also gone. That's how to drop irrelevant columns. Here's how to handle missing data. In my data frame, there are many Pokemon that don't have a second type, but all Pokemon do have a first type. For example, Charmander. Charmander is a fire type, but Charmander doesn't have a second type. It's a pure fire type. If a row is missing a value within type 2, we're going to drop that entire row. Here's how to do that. We're going to reassign our data frame, access our data frame, call the drop na method. We're going to pass in a keyword argument of subset equals a Python list. Any columns we place within this list will drop those rows if they're missing a value. Within type 2, drop any rows that are missing a value. When I display my data frame, I'm going to call the toString function just so we can see the whole thing. toString function. There should be no rows for Pokemon that are missing type 2. You can see that they're numbered here. 1, 2, 3, we go to 6 because 4 through 5 are missing. And then we jump up to 12 where we have Butterfree. We have removed any rows where there are null values within type 2. In place of dropping any rows where the values are not available, let's replace them instead with a different function. We will reassign our data frame, data frame equals, access our data frame, call the fill na function. Fill any not available values. Within this function, we're going to pass in a dictionary. Within this dictionary, we'll select a column. We'll select type 2 again. Replace any not available values within the column of type 2 with the following value. Instead of not a number, NAN, we'll replace those values with none. And let's take a look. For type 2, for any Pokemon that don't have a second type, we've replaced any missing values, such as not a number, with the word none. That's how to replace any missing values. Number three, we're going to fix any inconsistent values. We can replace any instance of a value with another one. Within type one, let's select any grass types. We'll change any instance of grass to be all uppercase letters. Here's how you can do that. We're going to take our data frame, then select a column. Within the column of type one, this will be a series that we're selecting. We're going to access that column using the subscript operator. We are selecting the column of type one. Call the replace function, and then we will pass in a dictionary. Let's replace any instance of grass with the following value. This is a dictionary, we need a colon, then space. We'll replace grass with all capital grass to test it. And that should replace any instance of grass within type one. There we are. Let's find a few more. There's more grass types, Oddish, Gloom, Vileplume. This won't change any instance of grass for type two, 
because we've only selected the type one column. Let's change a few more. Within our dictionary, we can pass in more than one key value pair. Let's replace any instance of fire with fire all caps. Let's do the same with water. Replace any instance of water within type one with water, all uppercase. Yeah, it looks good. Grass is all uppercase. Fire is all uppercase. Water is all uppercase. No other types are all uppercase. They're capitalized normally. Moving on. We can standardize text. Just to demonstrate, within our name column, let's take all the individual names and make them lowercase. Here's how you can do that. We will select the column of name. Data frame, subscript operator, we are selecting the column of name. This is a series. Equals, select that column again. Data frame, subscript operator, we are selecting name. That series. Access string, call the lower function. And that's going to take our column of name and make all of the characters lowercase. So that's how you can standardize some text. Number five, I'm going to show you how we can fix or change data types. With my column of legendary, non-legendary Pokemon have a value of zero. Legendary Pokemon have a value of one. I think Booleans would make more sense to use. We'll change these values to be Booleans. Here's how. We'll select a column, access our data frame, subscript operator, select the column of legendary. This is a series. We're going to reassign it. Access that column again, data frame, subscript operator, legendary, and I'm just going to copy this because I'm lazy. We'll call the as type function and then pass in a new data type. For booleans, you type bool. And now for the legendary status, it should all be booleans. Dratini, Dragonair, Dragonite, they're not legendary Pokemon. That's false. But Mewtwo is a legendary Pokemon. That's true. Same thing applies to Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres. Here's how to remove duplicate values. Going to our CSV data, let's add a few extra copies of Pokemon. Let's add a few more copies of Bulbasaur. I don't know, a total of four is good. And then a couple for Mewtwo. We have duplicate entries. Let's print our data frame just to be sure that we do have the duplicates. Yeah, we got four entries for Bulbasaur. And then at the bottom, we have three entries for Mewtwo. To remove any duplicate values, we will reassign our data frame. Data frame equals access our data frame called the drop duplicates function. Duplicates. And that's all you got to do. And now we should be missing those extra entries. Yeah, there's only one Bulbasaur. And there's only one Mewtwo. All right, everybody, so that is data cleaning. It's the process of fixing or removing incomplete, incorrect, or irrelevant data. On average, 75% of the work done in Pandas is data cleaning. It's an important topic. I couldn't really think of any homework for you to do, so to increase engagement with this video, I don't know, post your favorite anime in the comment section. And well, everybody, that is data cleaning using pandas.